electrosymmetric analysis of voltage path flange. The system consists of a flange, bolt, and gasket. It's all performing pumps. Uh, in, um, pumps in contact are interact with each other when during pre uh, during pre uh, tightening process of the bolt. Uh, when when internal pressure uh, pressure acts uh, acts. So uh, this is the only only a segment of 22.5 degree. And uh, our model, all these uh, these uh, parts, uh, component, all the uh, um, components, the sketch of the flange, flange are revolved around this axis, and you can see the this problem also in our Vakas tutorials. Okay. Now, also the bolt. Only half of the uh, half of the portion is modeled. So in an actual system there are eight bolts, but I have only model uh, with one bolt uh, or one bolt with half portion. Um, they are equally spaced in an actual model. And then gasket, gasket, okay. the gasket portion it is also revolved. So they revolve. Or it is two point five is the thickness. And then we need to define material for both portions for three components. So for gasket material, it is material here is elastic. However, there go material elasticity and then elastic material and then we have to define chemical modulus and partial ratio similarly for bolt and flange uh, define the same material only in different end modulus and partial ratio is same as the topic material is considered and we need to define the section for flange, flange and bolt uh, the type is solid homogeneous and material for bolt and flange and for gasket with the gasket material it is also solid and homogeneous then in the similar model we need to create three instances and we need to place them at accurate position and after creating all the instances we need to convert the constant so it can into the absolute position so I already done that, so there will be no chance to convert any of the constraint. So I already created all the instances. Now we need to define step. In the step model, I have created one step that is static general and uh, my time period time period is set to one and nonlinear geometry is uh, off and in maximum number of incrementations increments are hundred and the initial increment size is zero point one and the minimum increment size after which if it goes beyond that limit it will throw error. So please define it correctly. But as it is not a nonlinear geometry there is no problem but be careful with the uh, minimum time increment size and then I have requested field output that is stress strain displacement forces contact as there are some contact between the bolt and flinch also gasket and flinch so I have defined this I have requested uh, output for contact and then we need to define his output request. So in this window, this, uh, requested for energy, all kind of energy, okay. all energy totals. You can see all energy are marked. Then as there are some contacts, so we need to define some interaction properties. Like uh, interaction and interaction property, I uh, created mechanical time gesture behavior. In this case, for friction formulation is rough. No split will occur once point are in contact. And in normal behavior, from mechanical normal behavior, 
ratio closes the hard contact there you can see it's finished closing at the below but in this problem hard contact is considered and considered information enforcement method is default don't allow separation after contact and also the interaction you need to define master surface so here the master surface is the uh, plane child and the slip surface is the bottom portion of the bolt I have already picked and the interaction contraction now this is which was defined earlier so when I scroll down this you will see this interaction property 1 and 2 and this is default with the uh, contact controls the default all others you can set the smoothing you need to define warning you need to define and please uh, consider sliding formation small sliding and discussion method is not to surface and another interaction that is between the gasket and the flange so master surface always be picked it was flange and the slip surface is a gasket a proportion of the gasket and interaction property one and two because I have defined both same similar same so no you consider one or two it is equivalent okay and here also slide small sliding formation is finite sliding or small sliding but uh, in this case it is finite sliding and uh, not to surface now we need to match this part I'll be the match this part while meshing this plane portion uh, will we'll give some air, so will give some warning matches as it is it is cannot be meshed without partition. So to partition, I partition this geometry. Uh, you can see that uh, that lines in blue color, light blue color. I partitioned it from the, the from there that portion. So if you partition it like that it, is, it will be easy to mesh so I have defined and in mesh control you need to define one kind of reason and before that you need to make it independent I won't do that because of that constraint I have defined which I can show you for this mesh control element shape is hexagonal and the technique is technique used is sweep and algorithm for meshing is middle axis which minimizes trans mesh transition okay so this is very proper this mesh generated is very proper and I guess 60 elements are there and all the portions I think uh, on the plane region 6980 elements are generated while on the bold reason 890 elements are generated okay. you can refine this mesh if you need to after that you need to go to load I have defined already all the boundary condition but here if you, if you want to define the axisymmetric condition as I have completely created uh, created a segment of 22.5 degree so the whatever the global axis is is a with respect to the first global axis with respect to th this reason this reason this edge okay and so so that uh, that uh, that coordinate system will help to define the axis symmetry and uh, symmetry uh, for this surface but if you want to define symmetry on this surface you need to define another uh, coordinate system that I will show you the coordinate system this is the second one coordinate system which is uh, the x axis is with respect to this line center line okay. and the first one is that is that 
x-axis is with respect to this edge. And now I'll define the boundary conditions. So on this surface, the displacement. On this surface, the displacement along the z-axis is zero. That is, if it is zero, and uh, the datum system, datum coordinate system is considered as two. Okay. And then second boundary conditions is on so on the bottom surface of gasket. That is U two. U two is zero. The, more, uh, the displacement is constant along the y-axis, and the datums is considered. And I'll show you. What do you think about this? Only up to this part, up to this part, the nodes are selected, and uh, actually a set uh, of uh, these nodes, including these all, this age, uh, is created, and except this age except this edge and then it is uh, except edge reason yes yes get bottom except edge leaving this edge on this portion this portion except this edge on this portion u2 is defined and datum consider is a uh, is, is on the another datum that is it is a second datum and uh, not the global one so u is zero and now this is the bottom of the bolt shank that is a uh, you can bottom of the shank uh, it is a uh, with respect to y the displacement is constant that is u two is skip zero skip zero and the datum is c uh, datum considered is a uh, second one okay symmetry is defined on the surface with respect to global one that is uh, which is uh, which was earlier uh, so it's, uh, the first one first one the second one uh, u3 is zero on the surface that is the displacement uh, Displacement along the z axis is zero, it's constant, and then on this boundary condition five, edge is edge. I'll show you only this edge. Only this edge. Is considered. It's considered, uh, and the only nodes are considered along this edge. Of us, uh, uh, and uh, and U two is constant. That is, U two is equal to zero. That is, a uh, displacement along y axis is constant. And I have defined all the bond condition already. I can show you the set. This is the node along the edge. Only you can see the node, the edge. Uh, you need to define uh, axisymmetry. Uh, whenever you want to define any boundary conditions, boundary condition along the different CYs, be careful. You need to create another another coordinate system otherwise uh, it will not generate any input file and will give some kind of error you need to understand that error okay. and we just get another set we can 
with these nodes without uh, edge nodes now I can show you another model conditions mm -hmm. this portion only on the condition it is with respect to another data that was created after that is a uh, coordinate system 2 when it is 0 and now I'll show you H and uh, CSYS is global uh, global coordinate system and it is zero so there will be no problem now load so define the load to define the volt load you need to create uh, one internal surface and Define the pretension. So I have created one. Uh, I have partitioned this geometry, and it is the piece of. I have created one surface by partitioning the geometry, and uh, and it is uh, in between in between the sand prism in the middle portion of the sand prism, and then I have, I have the region selected is already shown in red color, and then make a apply force. And it is 750 actually 15, 15, uh, 15 kilo newton is applied on the is uh, uh, is apply is uh, is uh, applied as a clamping force clamping force but as the half of the model is half of the bolt is a model so only 7500 newton is uh, the is the magnitude and uh, bolt axis you need to define you need to define the bolt axis so is the bolt axis in the red portion center line we need to define it okay and then everything is defined mesh is also included and then create a job and then submit job and it is submitted and i'll show you the result this stresses we generated we can see the maximum stress where it is also I'll slow down this animation the gasket region you can see the contact you can see the displacement you next time with new example.